Hi everyone, Todd Zuckerman here, and I'm going to show you a little bit of my pre-show warm-up routine here on the road with sticks. Uh, basically, played a show last night, so I pick up the pair of sticks and I kind of gauge if there's any soreness or stiffness from the night before, which often there is. So I'll just try to work that out with some single hits. Maybe I'll get some doubles. How does this feel? Okay. Some singles. Now, most of what we're ever going to play on a drum or a snare drum is going to be a series of singles and doubles, so I like working on the singles and doubles. I'm not trying to kill myself, but I'll pick up the speed a little bit. game there is to try to get my, my doubles to sound as close to singles as possible, which is impossible because once you change the articulation, you change the sound, so it will never be a winnable game. Um, also, you can make your roll sound much more open and jazzy by adding a little circular motion, but I'm trying to play up and down in this case. I'm trying to be relaxed when I'm doing that. I'm not adding any tension. I'm sitting straight up. My shoulders are down. Now, after that's starting to feel kind of good, the hands are starting to open up. A couple single wax, because I'm going to be up there. forget the feet because the feet are going to be getting in the, uh, in the action too. So I can start playing at combinations of uh, two and twos, fours and twos, six and twos, threes and threes. Two and two, four and two, six and two, three and three. That's basically kind of what I do for a while, and uh, kind of shake it out, do this thing, do this thing, but not not too hard. Do this stretch, kind of make sure my body's feeling good. I'm gonna go back at it. I might have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Very important to keep the space between your thumb and your finger. That's where all your looseness is gonna come. This will, will keep all your muscles nice and relaxed in there. The second that gap closes, all these muscles are tight. So you can't throw a 90 mile an hour fastball like this. It has to be open and loose. So don't forget about that. That's everything. There you have it. Time to play.